Hi guys and welcome to payroll management system developed using Dubfin. Okay guys, as you can see, we have information of Captain Paul right there, Captain Paul Omen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset or you can even exit if you want. I'm now going to exit. I'm going to reset. And let's reset the calculator as well. Now let's enter the details of Tony Montana. An address of Tony in Montana is number 17, Little Venice. There. And let's enter his postcode. Montana happens to be male. And position. He is a co pilot. City benefit. And wages. Overtime so far. And we'll come in here, enter the period there. So, all we then need to do is just to click on pay. There we go. That is the details of Tony Montana. And if you want to check out the net pay, you can always enter the cross right there and then subtract the deduction. right there and you should get the same value and let's start work with a new tutorial so I'm going to click on exit and right here we are now in Delphi development environment I'm just going to click on you can either click on this very one here where it says click create a new window VCL application and right there development environment pops up so I'm gonna advise you guys to save it so that you don't forget I'm gonna save that as payroll system and let me save it in my folder so let's just click on documents right here okay I'm gonna save that now there we go okay now the form I'm going to define the height and the width of this form let's make the height about 720 press enter and scroll right down the width I'm going to make that about 1372 something like that there we go now you see where we have the palette I'm going to type T P and TP should get me this very plane here. Click on that and just draw it right there. I'm gonna need a couple of those, so let's just copy that. We have to four. That is fine. So the next thing I'm gonna do is first of all, let's just drag this this way and just arrange it how I want. So let's drag this right here. There we go and pull it right down just something like that okay now guess what I'm gonna select it all and maybe leave these ones alone and let's get rid of the content I have in there let's go into the properties here uh, let's see caption there we go and this very one I'm going to now enter in the payroll management system and let's increase the font size of that then I'll use that to determine how big it's going to be let's come in here and just change that to about be 40 something let's say 44 I'm gonna make that bold if you notice I did not delete the the test content of that very plain so come right here and let's see how that's gonna look like okay so we need to reduce the size of this a little bit more all right that is fine so right here I'm gonna drag this let's paste this somewhere there and this is gonna be here about that drag this down and Let's copy one more. This last one is going to be for the buttons. I 
and drag all of this down drag this right down here and bring this very one right down okay so I'm gonna run it now but before I run it let's click on the form I just want to get the form aligned properly come to the properties of the form look at the form there and just select a line and I'm going to just clamp it to the top and let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about there we go right there so I believe you guys can see it one two three four five six of those okay let's close that and come right down here now you see this very one here I'm going to start by entering let's go to the palette here the palette is where you get all of the component that you need or you can call it object so I'm just gonna click in there I will type in T that is meant for bit to be edit text edit grab the text edit and just draw it right there something like that bring it down and this very text edit I'm going to change the font size at, at the same time I'm going to align the text to the right click on align and let's take it to the right and let's increase the font size now font I'm going to make that maybe about 20 20 bold there and change the default text change that to zero and let's go back to the variable name here I'm going to change the variable name to txt display there that's fine now we need a button let's come right down here click in there just type in TB that gives you the button and just drag that here somewhere and I'm going to make that 97 by 97 width will be 97 and height will be 97 as well now font let's change the font here make that bold that's going to be 20 as well there we go I can now copy these across just hold on to control and copy we have two there we go that will do now copy that copy and we have eight now I'm going to need about 20 of those copy again and paste now I have all the buttons in place I think it's going to be about 20 there let's run it and see there we go 20 in total okay so now let's do one thing this one is going to be for the backspace so what I'm going to do is I'll go straight into word let's select insert and go into symbols and look for more symbols that's what I need you we'll should find that sign in there wingings I also need a plus minus as well let's click on that that's the plus minus so you find that here that is the font name where you find that okay insert that so just for you guys to see that's the font name okay so I'm gonna copy the backspace and let's come right down here paste that in here so end it first and make sure it's selected go straight to the I think it's the caption yeah there's the caption paste it right in there I now have to change the font type scroll down look for the font that's the font click on the font and let's grab the font type the font type I need is winging and that takes care of that now let's copy the, the plus minus copy that and that is it with that I don't need, have any need for word document anymore so let's come right down here paste that in there there and the next button here that is going to be C E clear entry this one which is going to be C right there C and here that will be 7 the next one will be 8 we have 9 
we have the plus sign subtract six five four one two three let's say we have multiplication we have division here equals here and decimal and this will be zero there run that let's see how the calculator interface looks like there we go that's the calculator interface all right let's create the rest part of the interface before we start naming them i'm going to add let's come back in here in the palette tl that will give me the label grab a label paste it right here we have one label i also need a test entry maybe just copy this very test entry copy and paste that right here there we go change this label to 20 as well the font type will be 20 make that 20 bold there we go okay i think that might even be a problem let's do one thing i'm going to change both the both of them i'm going to change that font to about 18 because i might need some room and change that to 18 yeah that too might make a difference so let's copy it now copy both copy and paste right there and we grab this too copy again make sure it is selected before you paste right looking good and let's copy it copy that paste bring it down it's coming up and we just need to more underneath here see I was lucky to make that 18 and paste bring it down okay that's fine now this very one here I'm going to delete that and I will replace that with a combo box let's say T yeah T combo yeah combo box let's drag combo box here there we go let's change that to about 18 as well there yeah that takes care of that right now let's come in here i'm going to just paste in there we have one and we have two then we enhance it how we want and underneath here paste there More. and oh, we need some here paste it there and one more there right there alright these two extra that I've copied I'm going to cut them off cut click in here and paste it right in there all right that's good and here as well paste an order to extra there and there we go guys if I run it now it's not looking beautiful yet but at least we're getting somewhere that's how it's looking now but right here I'm gonna need to combo box so right so grab hold of this combo box copy and this one let's move this out of the way i'm gonna need two of those on one layer and paste the combo box right in here we have one here and this very one yeah okay we're gonna need another combo box here paste that one here alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange the whole lot yeah 
so that I can speed up things but before that let me change the name so that you guys see how that is done then I would then speed it all up so I'm going to select this very first one here and change that to where do we okay it's using caption change the caption to EMP that's it's supposed to stand for employee name and this one is going to be employee so that was going to have the variable name of that is going to be txt employee scroll right down txt employee employee name there you guys can see that wrong spelling There we go. Right. I'll repeat the same thing for this one. That's going to be address and so on. So I'm going to speed that up so that you guys, so that we have enough time. And the next one here is going to be, this is meant to be a combo box here. So this one is meant to be up here. That's for the address. This, that's going to be TXT address txt address there so i'm just going to speed that up now guys and get back to you guys shortly all right they all have a name now so i'm going to now run it so that you guys see how it all looks like there we go right there this is how it's looking now so guys with that i'm going to call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial and i will see you guys shortly